Aloha everyone and welcome to Skincare with Hiram. If you don't know who I am, my name is Hiram and I'm passionate about teaching you how to perfect your skincare routine. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you can see my videos every single week. Have you noticed in every video how every single week just gets harder and harder to understand? I swear two years from now it's just gonna be like blah, blah, blah. I just wanna blah. <laughs> Today's video is yet another segment in my teen acne series. I know you guys have been asking for more videos and I haven't been making them, which is what a good content creator does. Pat on the back, Hiram. You know, according to my demographics, most of my audience are not teenagers. Like the vast majority of you guys, like 85% are above 18 years old. But for some reason, the only people I ever meet in public are people who are like younger than 18. I don't know why that is. I'm looking at you adults, come say hi. When I first made my teen acne videos, which if you haven't seen any of them, go watch them in my description box below. I've made multiple videos about what to stop doing when you have teen acne, what are the best products to use when you have teen acne. They're one of the few videos that I can say I'm proud of. And when I first made them, I did not expect for them to blow up because most of y'all aren't teens, but hey, you guys liked it, you want more, so here I am. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about strategies and the best products for when you have oily skin. Teen acne is rough, okay, we all know this. It, it's it's a difficult time. I struggled with it, all human beings struggled with it. If you didn't struggle with teen acne, but first of all, rude. Second of all, how dare you? You are not human. You're like another species of perfection and I don't like you. <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh, I take that back. I feel bad. You are so lucky if you never had to struggle with it because it is quite the B-I-C-T-H. And one specific struggle I had with teen acne and I've seen others have when they have acne is really, really oily skin. Like really oily girl. And to this day, my skin is really oily. Like grease factory level girl. Like the USA is willing to go to war over this face. <laughs> Okay, that's a little controversial. <laughs> to this day, I still struggle with a really oily T-zone and over time, I've been able to find the best products and the best strategies to be able to control oily skin. And likewise, I see a lot of teenagers out there who are struggling with acne and excess oiliness, not to mention so many other factors at play, like first of all, puberty, second of all, hormones, third of all, being athletic outside. There's just so many factors that contribute to teen skin oiliness. All these products have saved my life in the past. Like seriously, I saved the best of the best for this video. In my previous this video I talked about the best products for teen acne and those are great for getting rid of acne you know getting rid of the problem altogether and if you are looking for product recommendations to you know get rid of the problem I highly recommend going over there but for this video I'm only going to be focusing on products that reduce the oiliness in your skin products that are super lightweight absorb into the skin easily and have my stamp of approval for passing Hawaii humidity which is a tear in and of itself because nothing survives the humidity and I'm so excited to share all these product recommendations with you because literally guys like they will they're gonna change your life. So let's get into it. So first I'm gonna start off with some tips and tricks that significantly reduce my oiliness and then I'm gonna get into the products themselves. Five tricks, we'll get through them real fast, no worries. First, in order to make sure that you're not excessively oily, make sure you don't use a stripping cleanser. Now that may seem contradictory because you're like, Hiram, I wanna use a really strong cleanser to make sure I get all that oil and dirt and gunk out of my skin. But here's the thing, girl. I lost my train of thought. <laughs> Cleansing is great for your skin because you need to get that dirt and that sebum out. But in case you're like, whoa, 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 what is that word? Sebum? Sebum? What is that? It's essentially the layer of oil that rests on our skin that is produced by our body to make sure, you know, our skin is protected, hydrated, but sometimes it can make you look really greasy depending on how much sebum your skin is creating. But having sebum on your skin is important because it's the body's way of making sure your skin is hydrated. So you want to use a cleanser that can properly cleanse without overly stripping it because if you do overly strip your skin, your body's going to send an SOS signal out saying, whoa, y'all, we're dry. We need some moisture up in this bitch. And your skin is just going to overproduce sebum and oil, which is going to make you even oily. So sometimes your oiliness is created by which cleanser you use. So you want to make sure you use a good cleanser that's not overly stripping. And literally like all the cleansers I recommend on my channel, I would consider to be non-stripping. They don't have harsh cleansing agents, but very effective at preventing oiliness and breakouts. And number two, and this may contradict everything you thought about skincare, but if you want to reduce oiliness throughout the day, make sure you use a good hydrating moisturizer at night. I know it sounds crazy, but seriously y'all, this worked so well for me. Once I started using rich hydrating moisturizers at night, I am immediately noticed that my skin was significantly less oily throughout the day. And there's a reason for this. There's a process our skin goes through at night called trans epidermal water loss or tool. It's the process by which water exits our skin, which creates dryness, sensitivity, aging, oiliness, acne, dark spots. There's so many things that can come from trans epidermal water loss. Water is essential to the body. So when your skin is losing that water, it's really impacting the health. And when you use a good hydrating moisturizer that can lock in that moisture at night, it 
make sure that you aren't losing as much water, which means your skin is gonna be better hydrated, which also means your skin isn't gonna feel the need to overproduce that oil and sebum, which inevitably makes you oily throughout the day. Does that make sense? I hope it does, just point blank. It's really good to use a good hydrating moisturizer at night. I have multiple videos about the best moisturizers, whether it's drugstore or ones for sensitive skin or one for acne prone skin. I will link the videos in the description box below. Specifically, my drugstore moisturizer video has some good recommendations. But yeah, doing this made such a huge difference in my skin. The third tip I recommend is to use the one, the only ingredient that I won't shut the hell up about, niacinamide, woo woo. I'm a huge fan of niacinamide. It is pretty much my hero ingredient because of all the benefits that it has. But one of the primary benefits it has is to reduce oiliness and excess sebum on your skin. Now in my video talking about products that you can use to get rid of acne, I talked about active ingredients like salicylic acid and exfoliants and retinol. Those are great for getting rid of the problem. But if you want to continuously reduce your oiliness, niacinamide is a great ingredient to do that because it literally works with any active ingredient out there. Niacinamide is also a great ingredient for brightening any dark spots that come when you get acne scars, which is another reason I feel like it's so perfect for oily skin. And I'll be talking about some niacinamide products you can use in a little bit. The fourth tip is to use a gel or a gel cream moisturizer. I can't tell you how many teenagers I've talked to where they've told me, Hiram, I can't use a moisturizer because that stuff makes my skin way too oily. It makes it look greasy. It feels heavy. I hate it. And my question is always, have you used a gel moisturizer or a gel cream? Because that will just change your life. Change, change your life, change it all. <laughs> Gel and gel cream moisturizers have super thin consistencies that make it soak into the skin really quickly and completely changes the definition of a moisturizer. It's not your typical anti-aging cream that your grandma used, okay? It's very lightweight, feels amazing on the skin, and the right ones will make you feel like there's nothing on your face. And I'll also be talking about some moisturizers too. And then the final tip, tip number five, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, <laughs> is to use a good sunscreen. Sunscreen is the what is the term? The Bible, the base understanding, the Mecca of all skincare. If you don't use sunscreen, the rest of your routine is not gonna matter. Sorry to break it to you. Everyone who loves the ordinary peeling solution, the one that looks like a blood mask, that product is gonna be horrible for your skin along with every other skincare product if you're not using a sunscreen. And when used correctly and you use the right sunscreen, not the one that you grabbed from the gas station because you needed something for the beach last minute. I'm talking about a real good quality sunscreen. Completely changed the game. So now that you're equipped with that knowledge, let's get into the product recommendations, the good shit. So in this Video, I'm not going to talk about cleansers because I feel like cleanser is where you can get your active ingredients and I've already talked about so many cleansers before like good drugstore cleansers and honestly you don't need a cleanser that's specifically suited for like oily skin. Any cleanser will work. I feel like your experience with oiliness will more so come down to what serums you're using, what moisturizer you're using, and what sunscreen you're using. So if you want to see my cleanser recommendations go watch my drugstore cleanser video. I'll have it linked below. Honestly any of them will work. It's just about which one like you prefer. So you know how I talked about niacinamide. The super important ingredient that I think everyone with oily skin should be using. I love getting a full concentration of niacinamide. That's just an ingredient I don't want to scrape on. And I think one of the best ways to get the benefits of that is through a serum. Now, if you already have a moisturizer you like or a skincare routine that you like, but you're like, Hiram, I really want to use the benefits of niacinamide for my routine without it feeling like extra heavy and oily and greasy on the skin. There's three different serums I recommend. First, the obvious, the one that I always recommend, the Ordinary Niacinamide Serum. This one, does it really need an introduction to be honest? I mean, this one has been blowing up everywhere. It's always sold out. I'm just obsessed with it. I'm constantly talking about it. I think it's just such a great minimal serum that's super affordable where you can get the benefits of niacinamide. It does have a little bit of a tackiness, but honestly, I love the ingredients. And for the price point, you can really utilize the benefits of niacinamide just from this product. But if you are looking for an alternative or if that one is sold out, another great one is the Beauty Bay Soothing Serum. Now this one I would say is a little bit better for oily skin than this one. I have gotten some complaints about this serum saying that it was a little bit too heavy for people's skin. And I will say in the middle of the summer, this one is definitely is a little bit heavy for my skin. It does have two fragrant ingredients, but honestly, I can't smell them whatsoever. And they're so low on the ingredient list that I don't think they're problematic. This one is definitely a nice similar experience where you can still utilize the benefits of niacinamide for the same price point, but it's a little bit more of a lightweight consistency. All the products that I talk about in today's video are linked in the description box below. If you do want to support me, I make a small commission for those links and I'd really appreciate you using them if you do feel like shopping, but no pressure whatsoever as always. And then if you're like, Hiram, I want niacinamide, but I want some other good ingredients too. Like I don't just want that. Give me like one of the best serum formulas you can find. The one from my shelf right here, the Ionique Tea Tree Relief Serum. Oh my God. It's amazing. It's bomb. This one when I was struggling with breakouts and sensitivity helped reduce the inflammation and sensitivity on my skin so, so much. The reason I love it is because it's formulated with Centella Asiatica, a great ingredient for reducing sensitivity and irritation and also niacinamide as well. A bunch of green extracts like broccoli and cabbage that also help to reduce oiliness, but it's so lightweight. Out of all of these three serums, I would definitely say this is the 
the most lightweight of serum, making it optimal for like day or night to use. It's not gonna make your skin feel extra greasy and heavy. It's honestly like, like water. It soaks into the skin so easily. And definitely I think like if you're looking for an overall like upgrade of a formula, as much as I love these for the simplicity, this one definitely comes through with a multitude, multitude. What am I speaking Bible terms now? With a plethora of good ingredients. Now let's talk about moisturizer, which this, this makes the biggest impact because if you are someone who knows the struggle of oily skin, it always comes down to the moisturizer, whether the moisturizer is gonna leave you greasy or whether it's gonna make you look good. And we wanna look good. Well, at least I do. And some people say that people with oily skin don't even need to use a moisturizer, but I'm like, oh, contraire. Everyone needs a moisturizer. It just comes down to which one. And I have my best of the best ones. So the first, the best moisturizer I have ever found for reducing oiliness in the skin is the First Aid Beauty Coconut Water Cream. So I used to work two different jobs where I was on my feet all day. I was running around super busy, constantly sweating all the time. <laughs> it was like super cute. I definitely looked hot, 10 out of 10. I needed a moisturizer that would sink into the skin immediately, like within seconds of applying it, but not sweat out during the day. And this was the only one that passed the test in the middle of the summer humidity heat. This one is incredible. And every time I use it, I always get so many compliments on my skin because it has this nice, almost blurring effect to the skin that makes it look really nice. And I know some people may be like, um, Hiram, coconut for people with oily skin, isn't coconut oil kind of bad for oily skin? And yes, I agree, but this doesn't have coconut oil. It has coconut fruit juice and coconut extract, which are great ingredients for, you know, hydrating the skin without any pore clogging or oily factors. It's fragrance free. It has good sealants to make sure you aren't losing water throughout the day. It has apple extract, which has some great minor exfoliation ability. Sodium hyaluronate, which is a concentrated form of hyaluronic acid that draws in moisture into the skin, as well as green tea and licorice extract, which are great for reducing sensitivity. I've recommended this to countless people. So many people with oily skin ended up loving this product or they were like, oh my God, I might even need a little bit more moisture than this because it's so lightweight. It's insane. I highly recommend it. Another one I love is right behind me is the iUnique Centella Calming Gel Cream. This one has been one of my favorites for a while because it also has such a lightweight consistency. The ingredients are bomb, just like the serum. And I really like this one because it does have a good concentration of niacinamide. So if you aren't the type of person who wants to go with the serum, you can use a moisturizer like this one that has niacinamide in it. It has centella extract, allantoin, a great hydrating ingredient, tea tree extract to reduce oiliness. And it does have some bergamot essential oil, which is a citrus essential oil that I usually don't like, but I can't smell it in this product. I really can't smell it. So it's at a very low concentration that it really won't risk a lot of sensitivity. This one's super affordable and one of my favorites. It does hydrate your skin pretty well, but never in a way that makes your skin feel oily or greasy. Now, if you're wanting a good lightweight moisturizer with some treatment ingredients as well, the Sun By Me AHA BHA PHA Miracle Cream, oh, that's a name, is bomb because it's a very, very lightweight consistency, but you still get some exfoliation and some incredible ingredients. For example, for example, this has 70% Centella Asiatica extract. 70% of one of my favorite ingredients, sign me the hell up. It also has glycerin, niacinamide, tea tree extract, turmeric, which can be good for brightening any dark spots left over from breakouts and acne. Again, this does have some bergamot essential oil, but for the benefits that this packs, I honestly, I justify it because this is just such an incredible formula. Finally, a recent find for me that I've been obsessed with is the Rovectin Clean Lotus Water Cream. One of the reasons I love this is because the first ingredient is lotus extract, which is wow, just incredible, especially for this price point because lotus is great for skin soothing and potentially some like anti-aging benefits but dually this is such a lightweight cream and I have been using it all summer because of how lightweight it is and how much it resists excess oiliness. The packaging comes with stickers that you can put on the bottle. Mine says save the earth because you know <laughs> trying to be a good person over here. <laughs> kind of fun to decorate, but also has glycerin, panthenol, which are good hygiene ingredients and niacinamide as well. So as you can see, there's options for these moisturizers where you can get that niacinamide benefit if you don't want to use the serum on top of it. Now I know these products aren't necessarily ones that you find in the drugstore or may not be as cheap as drugstore products, but you know guys, I would so much rather recommend you the best of the best products that I've ever found than recommend you some products that are okay, but really don't do much to reduce oiliness because that's what we're talking about here. We're not talking about just ingredients. We're talking about the entire experience of a lightweight serum, moisturizer, sunscreen. And I just haven't found any at the drugstore that even compare to this level. And I would so much rather recommend you the best of the best so that you know you're purchasing a really good product as opposed to one that's just kind of like, eh, it's okay. And then finally we come to the sunscreens, the best sunscreens for oily skin. If you have used sunscreen before, you know that it is a struggle. Hashtag struggle freaking bus. To get one that doesn't feel like heavy oil sludge all over your face. Make me want to run away screaming, but 
these ones are so, so good. The first one, my absolute favorite for oily skin is the Dear Claire's Soft UV Area Essence. Wow. I could just go on and on about this product. I always use it. This is a sunscreen that has the highest protection factor possible, so SPF 50. It's such a lightweight gel consistency and it absorbs into the skin so quickly that oftentimes I've used a good four layers of this without ever feeling oily or greasy. That's how quickly it absorbs into the skin. That's how lightweight it feels. And there's no white cast whatsoever, so it can be used by any skin tones. It does have some citrus essential oil, which is, you know, annoying. But like I've said in this video, like when it comes to formulas that are so incredible, I don't mind if there's one or two fragrant ingredients, so long as they're at a low concentration. I more so get bothered when companies add the word fragrance, don't tell you what's in it. Fragrance is really strong and the ingredient list isn't even that good. That's where my frustration lies. And this one is one I'm willing to justify for because the experience is so good and it will never leave you feeling greasy. Another one I've been loving recently is the First Aid Beauty Mineral SPF 30. This one's a mineral sunscreen. I was skeptical when I started to use this, but I fell in love with it because it leaves the skin so mattified afterwards. It's almost like a very, very, very light tinted moisturizer, but you know how a lot of sunscreens leave you looking really shiny afterwards? This one does the opposite. It leaves you looking like matte and even, so you don't have to worry about that excess shininess. Because if you're truly oily, you will get shiny at one point during the day. <laughs> it has my favorite sunscreen ingredient, zinc oxide. It's fragrance free and it's great for really sensitive skin. I love this one. I will say though, if you have really pale skin, this is probably not going to be the product for you because it does have a little bit of a deeper tint, but it works perfectly for my skin tone. Another one is the Purito Comfy Water Sunblock SPF 50. This one is a mineral sunscreen as well, but it's literally like water in the skin. I can't even describe it. It's so deceivingly lightweight that it just, it doesn't feel like a sunscreen. I mean, none of these sunscreens do, but this one especially, usually with mineral sunscreens, they usually have a little bit of a heavier consistency. This one doesn't at all. The only downside to this is that it does have a minor white cast. It's very minimal, but compared to most mineral sunscreens out there, it's not noticeable at all. And like this one, these two are Korean sunscreens. And then last, a sunscreen product that has saved my skin for years now. I've been using this for so long. It is the Tarte Guard SPF 30 sunscreen powder. That's right, girl powder. Sunscreen comes in a powder. Now this one I think is great to use alongside another sunscreen, not on its own. The reason why is because you're not going to be able to get the full protection necessary, like the full SPF 30, just by using a powder on its own unless you use a lot. However, the reason I like this is because it has a brush on the end and you can apply this throughout the day to make sure that your skin is not only mattified, but you're also getting a tiny bit of sun protection continually throughout the day. If you struggle with truly oily skin like I do, at some point during the day, you're going to be greasy, you're going to be oily you don't want on that on your face and rather than having to like completely wash your face or start all over if you're not going to see sunlight very much throughout the day this is a great way to just reapply and the powder in it will help to absorb all the excess oil on the skin so you never look greasy this product is one of those that like truly changed my life when i found it and i have at least four all over the place and do you see the oil and the sweat that's already formed on my forehead <sighs> it's the middle of the day y'all this is normal for me and those are all of my product recommendations what do you guys think let me know in the comment section down below if you've used any of these products or if you have any products that have saved your your skin in terms of reducing oiliness. I really hope that these product recommendations can help for anyone who's really truly like, oh, nothing is helping with my oily skin. I need something. Hopefully these will come in clutch. But like I said, if you are looking for other types of products or my other recommendations for teen acne, go watch my videos in the description box below. I have plenty there. If you are interested in purchasing any of these products, feel free to use my links down below as well. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you can see my videos every single week. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Mwah.